Hi everybody, I'm Rasvi. Welcome to the intro video of the Poon 101 series. Throughout this series we will be solving the binary exploitation room, also known as Poon 101, on TriHackMe. It is one of the latest rooms regarding an evolving binary exploitation and it has been created by Joe, alias Joe Provin. Sorry if I'm mispronouncing it. In my opinion, it is a pretty good room to get hands-on with binary exploitation. In this room, and in this video series, we will learn some very cool stack-based exploitation techniques. This room comprises buffer overflows, return-oriented programming, integer overflows, format string vulnerabilities, tinkering and fiddling with the GOT and the PLT, that is the global offset table and the procedure linkage table, respectively, and finally, applying all of them to bypass several mitigations and craft our own payload in order to achieve execution of arbitrary code. Now, the first thing I'd like to state clear is that I encourage you to try to solve the challenges by yourself in the first place and use this content just as support material for your learning process. Don't use these videos just to copy what you have seen without really understanding what's happening. Don't delude yourself. While it's true that being stuck for days after running out of ideas doesn't help in any matter, lying to yourself and those around you won't do any good to nobody, but especially to you. Please bear in mind that these videos aren't a thorough introduction to reverse engineering or assembly and some, not much, previous knowledge is assumed, especially about C language, what registers are, and of course, some assembly instructions, which is basically the same thing that the author of the room states at the very beginning. Also, I'd like to say that I won't be repeating concepts from previous videos in the series. Let's say that, for example, in the first binary, in the first challenge, there is a buffer overflow we must take advantage of. I will help you understand why and how the buffer overflow happens and how we can leverage it so as to exploit the binary. If that very same concept is required in, say, the seventh binary, the seventh challenge, I will take that knowledge for granted, since I want these videos to be as non-repetitive as possible in order for you to make the most of them. At least, that's what I intend. As you can see, this is a CTF-like room, so techniques won't be explained in detail. In fact, they won't be explained at all. Only the binaries will be there for us to exploit, and that's exactly where I'd like to help each one of you by the means of these videos. Last but not least, you can find the videos in this series in the YouTube playlist I created for it, and on my webpage. By the way, in the description of this video you can find links to both of them. I hope you'll find these videos useful and serve for everybody as a helping hand with binary exploitation. See you in the next one. Until then, GG.